The governments of the frontline states hold South Africa responsible for the horrors inflicted on their children. But inside South Africa itself, children are surrounded by war and deprived of their innocence. Some have become the unwitting victims of township violence. Others, who have become actively involved in the fight against apartheid, have been systematically targeted by the state. Buras was detained aged 15. He was held for many months and tortured. When he was 16, he fled the country. James was 14 when he was first detained. His third detention lasted for 21 months, six of them in solitary confinement. He remains inside South Africa and has never been charged. How on earth will they understand what I'm saying to them if they are treated this way? They are being brutalized. What sense of justice will they ever have if they are treated this way? How old are the children? Most of them are from seven years. If you meet a 21-year-old kid there, we call him an old person. They are just babies. That is why I can't take it. Any child is my child, and my yeah. child, any elder is their parents. It seems as though it is a sin to bring a child on earth. It seems as though it is a crime. I feel guilty as a parent. Why did I bring children that I cannot protect, who must be brutalized like this? Yeah, it was Wednesday. I was taken to Randbeck Police Station, to Santon Police Station. I was assaulted several times, you know, and then after that I was not taken to the doctor and then I was refused. My family applied to see me and then they said I'm not there. In 1986, on the 8th of October, then I was detained. At about 5 o'clock they started with the interrogation and I was the first one to be interrogated. They also threatened me that uh, I will be sentenced for a long period in prison or else maybe I could be killed because they can do anything they like with me as long as I'm in their hands. In the evening, another police came to my cell and then he said, these are the tablets that are in your tablets and then you must take these tablets. And then I said, I'm not going to take the tablets. And then I told the doctor that I'm not going to take these tablets because he refused to, to examine me and then he put the gun to me. He said, look here, Kefa, drink these tablets, you know. And then I was very angry, you know. The second day I went to Camden Park Police Station. Even there, I was subjected to torture and all that. 